Hi, I'm Joe Offenberg, Senior Principal Consultant for Application Delivery with CA Technologies. Today, I want to talk to you about Canary deployments. You probably know that CA Release Automation is a continuous delivery solution that enables the delivery of new innovative capabilities with minimal risk. By abstracting the deployment process from the physical environments, we can reuse these deployment processes across environments of all different shapes and sizes, from small dev environments to large production environments. This provides a tremendous amount of flexibility, while also reducing risk and speeding up the innovation. Just as canaries in a coal mine, one of imminent danger, a canary release follows its metaphor by subjecting only a subset of users to new functionality. So a canary release is a type of incremental application release version of an application to a small subset of users. This results in a production environment with two side-by-side -side application versions running in parallel. The load balancer directs a small amount of users to the new build. These are the canaries. Let's take a look at how all this works. In this example, we have a production application that's not performing too well. This is a financial trading mobile application. If you see here, the response time has been pretty poor and above the acceptable threshold. We're going to switch over to release automation now because we have a new build that can resolve this performance issue. But first let me show you how we set up our canary environment so we could deploy this fix to only a small subset of our production users. We see our production JBoy server actually consists of 10 different servers that make up the environment. So I'm going to remove two of them and put them in the canary environment. Here we see the canary environment doesn't have any, so we're going to take the two we deleted from the production environment and move them over. Now here I'm doing this manually to illustrate the process, but I could automatically assign agents to different environments as part of a pre-deployment process, and that's typically how this would be done. We switch over to our deployment pipeline overview. We can see that our new build, number 268, is making its way through our dev and uh, QA environments uh, through our continuous delivery process. Now, once it completes the testing in these environments, we're going to promote it to our staging environment. This is all happening automatically through our continuous delivery process. From staging, we'll be able to promote it to our canary production environment, and we'll have two different versions of our application running side by side in production. Build 268 in our canary production environment and build 267 will still be in our production environment. Some end users will get the canary build and will be able to see and compare the performance side by side. So now stage is complete, so let's go ahead and promote that to the Canary Prod. And once this Canary Prod deployment executes and completes successfully, uh, including any post tests that might be required, we can go ahead and switch back to our CA application performance management tool, which does real-time performance monitoring, and we'll be able to compare the two environments and see if the fix actually resolved the response time issue that we were seeing in build 267. And now our two different builds have been running parallel in production for a little while now. We can see the response time difference here. So first our production environment running build 267, still trudging along with unacceptable response time. So let's just drill in and take a look. Let's uh, see here. We're going to open this up. Response time, you see it's well above the uh, red line there. It seems to be averaging about one and a half seconds uh, for each click. But here is, uh, here is our canary environment, well below the threshold uh, at about 350 milliseconds response time for each click. And if there are no other errors, and this is in really good shape for promoting to production. For more information, you can visit our website and you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you very much.